three decades, China has been one of the world's biggest importers of plastic waste. That's changing. Last year, China closed its doors to over two dozen foreign recyclables, sending countries scrambling to adjust their recycling systems. Before the ban, China imported about 40% of the United States recyclables, and researchers estimate that the new policy could leave 111 million metric tons of used plastic with nowhere to go. Now one team of researchers at MIT is looking to sort through the pileup. Students at MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Learning Lab have developed a robot that can actually identify and sort recyclables. Dubbed RoCycle, the system includes a soft Teflon hand that uses tactile sensors to detect the size of an object and the pressure needed to grasp it. From there, it can determine if it's made of metal, paper, or plastic and establish a motion path. As it stands, recycling centers are tasked with the costly process of sorting and separating waste, and mixed materials can become unrecyclable altogether. Approximately 25% of all U.S. recyclables are so contaminated they must be sent to landfills instead. The team says RoCycle can tackle the problems of today's single stream recycling systems. RoCycle also provides a safe alternative to human labor. The device can be punctured by a needle more than 20 times with minimal damage. One complication, replicating human intuition is no easy feat. While RoCycle can accurately detect stationary materials 85% of the time, its success rate drops over 20% when objects are placed on a moving conveyor belt. Meanwhile, companies such as Zen Robotics and Amp Robotics are building their own sorting robots using camera and computer vision and estimate that the technology can cut recycling costs by as much as 50%. Reducing contamination is a top priority for the United States. Could a robot such as RoCycle be a step in the right direction or will America have to find a new dumping ground? Carol Masser, Bloomberg News, Boston.